It used to cost $200, now it fetches for a hell of a lot more. It is a rarity that is infamous for its low quality, its broken conception, considered one of the absolute worst NES game packs ever created, if not one of the worst video game compilations ever devised. This is Action 52 from Active Enterprises, and this is a playthrough of, of all 52 games. This was originally recorded back in 2013, uploaded in multiple parts. This is being re-uploaded again as a single video, with a running time of little under 2 hours. The expanded parts come from some additional intermissions as it were, as I make light of some user comments that were posted during the original video's runs. And as something of a bonus, this playthrough concludes with a review as it were of Action 52 as a whole, that has never been posted on YouTube before, but more or less sums up the game in general. The review portion, much like the game, is not that great, which is why I hesitated in uploading it, but nonetheless, it's there, and it awaits anyone that manages to sit through my 2013 playthrough of Action 52 for the NES. Endure, and if you can, enjoy. It's Action 52, and I'm going to be playing it for the first time ever on an emulator. Yeah, I downloaded the Homebrew Channel and, and, and NES emulator for the Wii, and I'm going to try this thing out. Nice voice clarity though. Unfortunately, that's where all the effort went into Action 52. The rest of it, as you're about to see, or as you've probably already seen, because this game's been touched upon by several people, the most notable and probably the best overview of Action 52 is from uh, Armic 21 versus Action 52. It's two hours. It's over two hours long, but tells you everything. But shows you every nook and cranny of Action 52 for the most part. I'm not really going to do that, I'm just going to play through these games, just to say that I played these games, and, uh, you know, just to get it out of the way, just to get it off the so-called bucket lifts, if you will. So, I played it once, I never have to play it again. So anyways, here's the first game, Fire Breathers. It's a two-player game, there's not really a whole lot to say, because I don't have a second player with me. Uh, despite having various stages and locales that are all different looking, they all pretty much play the same way. You know, you could go over everything except for those gray castle-like structures. And I'm just going to blow through this rather fast, rather quickly. There's not not really a whole lot to say here. It's uh, quite a bland-looking game. Not that very exciting. And um, level 8. Oh, this could be a challenge here, huh? Gee, how am I going to... How am I going to... How am I going to... Oh, oh, you could go behind the screen. Oh. Well, that sucked. Moving on. Okay, let's try this Star Evil thing. And, uh... Ooh, what, 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 what's that? Hold on, hold on. Did I... Uh, my eyes deceive me? Did a first-timer actually dodge the impossible? Let's look at that again. He did! Look at that! Look at how I own those blocks! The skills! Yeah. Oh, well, uh, that's the easiest thing to avoid, isn't it? Number two, Star Evil. Who's gonna dodge that? Nobody! Not the first time! Yeah, by the way, that was the first time I played Star Evil and I dodged that block. The first time I played it and I dodged it. Suck it, nerd! <laughs> oh, the heat I got for that one. <laughs> it was only a couple comments, but oh boy. <laughs> now, moving on. Okay, so, Star Evil is a space shooter, as you could probably tell, and not a very exciting one, I'm afraid. Um... I'm just flying through these uh, completely random and looks like this level is looping actually to a certain extent and there's those blocks again and uh, that's all you really do is you fly your your, 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 your your cellular peptide cake with mint frosting you fly that around you're fighting this birthday cake kind of thing 
And uh, the birthday cake rammed into me, so I died. And I dodged that block again, cause I'm full of win. Or something. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm not gonna play stupid. If I if I if I run into that thing two seconds in, it's because I allowed it to run into me. And there you go. So uh, it's not really a whole lot to say about Starryville. You're gonna find that a lot of the space shooters, and there are a lot of space shooters in Action 52, pr play pretty much the same way. It is very much like those uh, plug-and-play systems that I touch on, you know, you know, in the past where. They have a bunch of shooters and they all pretty much play the same way and they're, you know, some of them are like you know, minor differences in terms of graphics and some of them might have power-ups here and there. Uh, of course, the games in those plug-and-play things were much better designed and at least somewhat more interesting in retrospect. Uh, so I'm fighting this birthday cake. It's probably the toughest boss I come across in a video game. I'm on a level 2 and we dodged that block again because I am full of win. Uh, it's pretty much the same shit. Yay. Are we having fun yet, boys and girls? Cause I sure as hell ain't. You know what? I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Just, just end it. Moving right along. Okay, let's just flip through the pages. There's about a couple pages worth. So we're gonna look at Illuminator now. The idea behind Illuminator is interesting. And the idea is you're you're in the dark and you got to kill enemies with your flashlight and then it'll give you a bit of light for about a couple seconds and it gives you an idea of where everything is. As you could imagine, your most of the game is played in the dark. It's hard to see anything. You know, you, you can see sort of see the outlines. So it's hard to guess. You pretty much have to shoot your your flashlights to give you an idea to where you are, and you have to make use of the ladders and, and whatnot. To uh, it's really not that fun, not that exciting. It's an interesting concept, don't get me wrong, but uh, there's a difference between an interesting concept and an entertaining game. And this is definitely not the latter. Uh, and I got one more enemy, right? That's like much like most of the games, there's multiple levels and it's pretty much the same shit there. Now you got black outlined things, which... I don't know what the difference is between a black outlined character and, um, and, and, and not black outline. Um, yeah, that's all you really do here is in Illuminator is just guys show up at random intervals and really random, random. There's no set pattern to anything. Enemies show up at random positions and sometimes they'll move and as you can probably tell, sometimes they don't. It's really hard to tell what's going on. There's no sense of anything. Very exciting shit here though. Very exciting. Um. <sighs> did, I, did I miss anything? No, I'm sort of just. Oh god, damn it! Yep. Oh, level three. That was fast. And this one's got pits. Little holes. Yippee. Um, and I died. See, that's what makes it not fun is, you know... Um, I don't know, can I jump? I could go through the platforms, that's... that's... Um... What the... Hey, how'd this get in here? Um... Yeah, that's not supposed to be here. Yeah, that's a pipe dream, by the way. Keep dreaming, pal. Anyways, back to the game, unfortunately. Uh, much rather be seeing that other clip, but, uh, whatever. Yep, yeah, uh, I could go through the platforms. Yippee. You know, stationary, uh, enemies. Absolutely, yep. <laughs> and apparently you could die by falling off the platforms. Brilliant. Next. Next up on the list is... Oh, oh we going... G-Force. Oh, there's... Unfortunately, G-Force has nothing to do with Battle of the Planets or Gatchaman or... Any derivative of that same anime. It's another space shooter. And I crashed into some lines. And, uh... 
Yeah, I am shooting things. You just don't see it with the low. Huh. It's the same deal. A bunch of random crap is shot at you. And you have to dodge everything. You have a power meter, so you could take multiple hits, but... There's not a whole lot to G-Force. Um... Wow. I could barely contain my fake excitement. A nice little glitch. <laughs> this is sad. I mean, even like those plug-and-play... Th oh, level 2, that's nice, no warning. They change the scenery at least, that's like, uh, you know, that's commendable. But even those plug-and-play shooters... Uh, what? The fuck did I die? The fuck did I touch there? Whatever, even, even those plug-and-play shooter things. On that, that Dream Gear thing. I did like a year or two back. Those had more interesting shooters, even though they were just as generic, but they were more interesting. They were... No, they were better made, at least. And I died. Oh well, next up. So now we're gonna play Ooze. Ooze has a title screen, which is more than what I could say for the great majority of the games here. Anyways, the jumping is kind of weird. Uh, you press A to shoot and uh, B to jump. The way the jumping... Uh, okay, I died. The way the jumping works is that you have to press B to jump and then you use the D-pad afterwards to move in mid-air. Uh, which I think is a kind of an awkward jumping mechanic. Mind you, just B to jump is awkward enough to anybody who's played any platforming game and I died again. You could probably tell I haven't had much interest in mastering this game. Well, we'll try this out. Uh, Ooze is actually the basis of Cheetahman the Creation, uh, one of the many games that people actually, um, 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 I don't know how that came about, but apparently Cheetahman the Creation is a prototype game that somehow made its way to availability and things of that nature. I want to try this one again. I just want to test out the, uh, Try out the platforming controls because they're all pretty much the same thing in all these platformers anyways. B jumps, has this weird jumping mechanic, and um... Yeah, anyways, just gonna go through that. It's a pretty rudimentary... If the controls were a little better, and the level design was a lot more interesting, and I died. What the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, but if the gameplay was a little more interesting, uh, and the control was a little better, well, not even the gameplay, just, just the overall level design, this would have been a passable effort. But, uh, unfortunately, this ends up being an omen to how every side-scrolling platform game will play, because all, they all play the same way, and I died again. I just sort of... It's just one of those cases where I wanted to jump and the controls locked. Because if you if you hold the, the D-pad and jump, it'll just lock on you. It's happened to me a couple of times, but uh, I died because I just gave up. Next. Here's a bit of a Wikipedia fact for you. Active Enterprises actually advertised a competition in which anyone who could complete level 5 of Ooze would be entered into a prize drawing to win $104,000, comprising a $52,000 cash prize and a scholarship of the same value. The game was reported to crash around level 2, making this prize impossible to win without the use of an emulator or an in-game exploit, further making the contest an absolute failure. By the way, if you did manage to complete level 5 of Ooze, this was the screen you got. Apparently, the personal code, as it were, is the same for every copy of Action 52. And considering the very nature of this compilation, this should surprise absolutely nobody. Ooh, Silver Sword. This should be fun, right? Wrong. Uh, it's another shooter. You shoot out 
black swords, not silver swords. So the title's already a lie. Um, you have these uh, green splodges and these white splodges that are supposed to be trees. And uh, you have this random crap showing up out of nowhere. And I mean really, really, really random. The key word in every game of Action 52 is random. There is no set pattern to any of these things whatsoever. Um. Oh yeah, so... Uh, you know what would be interesting though? If you had a bunch of designers get together and remake Action 52. Now some people would probably frown at the idea, but you know... Make, take the games that exist in this game and make them interesting. Because clearly, the one thing that I'm starting to notice is that a lot of these games are just thrown in just for the sake of having a game there. None of these are, are giving any real rhyme or reason. You know, you're just moving along these levels. Like Silver Sword, for example. What's the point of Silver Sword? Um... You know, what's the story behind Silver Sword? Uh, nothing. Uh, yeah, because a lot of these plug-and-play consoles are just, just, you know, they just toss it. How do I, how do I, how, how do I, how do I, um, my mind just went blank. And the game's over. Good enough for me. Critical Bypass. This should be a uh, fun romp. No, it's another space shooter. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I could shoot in eight directions. That's kind of nice. Uh, but uh, ship controls a little jerky. Uh, same deal. Random shit appearing all over the place. Oy. pretty clear that none of these games were designed with any rhyme or reason. They just sort of said um, quality control certainly is something that's lacking in active enterprises that much is evident by what we've seen so far and what we're about to see later on. Jupiter Scoop is another shooter. A stationary shooter. Where nothing happens. Nothing happens. A couple meteors, comets, whatever they're called, fireballs coming from the sky. But far few in between. Um. Yeah, it's not. Uh, um, I got nothing. Seriously, <laughs> I'm just I'm just shooting these little lines into the sky. I got more lines shooting into the sky than I got fireballs coming to the ground to destroy whatever that thing is. Like I'm, I'm guessing it's the city. Does anybody live there? Um, well, I killed myself. I had to amuse myself somehow. Um, <clears throat> this is probably the worst. I'm playing playing with the turbo function here, but I don't even know why I'm shooting anything. I think it's pretty evident that, uh, you know, 500 torpedoes or comets could fa hit that city and it doesn't look any worse for wear. This is like, this is probably... Uh, the NES equivalent of one pop station games, and I killed myself again. I'm bored. Yeah, well, uh, gee. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. You know? <laughs> Shooting more lines into the sky.
because oh man I could just sit here actually and nothing will happen nothing of merit will happen I will not be penalized I could probably inch my way here and there but that's about it I don't have to do anything I got out of the way just in the nick of time or something I don't know you got this crappy music playing in the background god knows why leave somebody decent physic seriously this is terrible absolutely ludicrous <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I spent more time on this fucking thing than I did in any other games Oh, thank God, it's over. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, so let's try Alfredo and the Fetic, and what do you know? Even on a ROM image played on an emulator, the fucker doesn't work. Pure class. Fuck do I care, it's one less game I have to play. The great thing about emulators is I could skip over that entire diatribe of an introduction. So, onwards. Alright, so I'm going to have to scroll up here, uh, let's see, what's the name of the game? Operation Full Moon. It's another shooter with a moon rover. And the moon's apparently green. And I crashed into that. Well, fair enough. You know, in fairness, you can't blame me for running into that, because considering some of the other games that I've seen so far, which have no collision detection whatsoever. Oh yeah, it's another shooter. Uh, with garbled garbage on the top. And I could crash into those things as well. Fair enough. Um. Yep. Are we having fun yet, boys and girls? I sure as hell ain't. <laughs> this is yeah, crash into that. Brilliant. I wait. I didn't. Why didn't I crash? It? Naughty. Should have crashed into that, but uh, no. Anyways, probably not going to take any chances. I don't see. I don't see the harm in taking the chance. He'll end the game quicker. I could move on to something else. Oh, uh, maybe something interesting will happen. Oh, who am I kidding? They're gonna repeat the same screen over and over again several times in a row until we reach some predetermined end, and then we'll move on to the next level. Which will probably be the same graphics over and over again, except in a different color or a slightly different layout. I am having loads of fun with this game, he lied. And enough. Moving on to the next game. Please. Damn Busters. Okay, why not? Um, it's another overhead shooter where you can at least move around. It scrolls. You got a bunch of things. You gotta navigate a maze. And, um, oh, this is gonna be tricky. Can I? Oh, yeah, we can. Projectiles have no sense of. Oh, Jesus. Yep. You know the thing is though, what kills? Well, I was gonna say all the all the things were gonna appear at complete random, but uh, well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> this game seems to at least have some predetermined. Uh, uh, how that did not kill me. Um, Just there. 
Wait, you, what? That projectile, ugh. Wait, hold on. Hold on, man, we gotta see that again. I, okay, I died, but I just wanna see that one clip again. I just have to know. We'll slow mo it. Anyways, I'm shooting it up. I move, and the projectile moves with me. Unbel. Oh god. Who programs this shit, and why are they allowed to live? All right, moving right along, we have thrusters on full. It's another shooter. What a surprise. Um. I guess the only good thing I could say is better than that damn uh, Jupiter, Ju what was it called? Jupiter scope, the stationary one with the torpedo, the the, the fireballs. It's not saying much because this is pretty much the same old, same old. Uh, excuse me. You know, I'm not really hitting anything. There's really no point in me shooting anything unless there's a boss coming which I certainly hope there is cuz um okay maybe not now we got small sperm whales and an unknown flower wait what? Eh, no anyways Anyways, just gonna go go through here. Sorry. <laughs> uh, actually, this isn't. None of this stuff's hummable. Really, this isn't. Uh, well, I'm seem to be doing pretty good so far. Even though I haven't really hit anything, I got 475 points, that's about it. Uh, what else could I say here? Um, the fuck? And I could go through the sperm whales. Nice. Um, what was it, ROM? Is the, is the ROM glitched up? And I died. And, and yeah, it's glitched up. Okay, that's the end of that. Moving right along. Alright, next up we have Haunted Hill. Haunted Halls. Um, okay, so it's uh, another platformer. Much like Ooze, you press A to shoot your weapon which in case it's a cross gun and B to jump much like ooze you have to press B first and then use the d-pad to carry your momentum mid jump and I died brilliant uh, okay uh, to, to be fair though to be really really fair here though uh, the control here isn't as bad as it is in ooze uh, the jumping is actually a little better than it is here despite using the B button. Um, but it makes more a little more sense. Even if all I'm doing right now is just jumping over pits, it makes a little more sense. Uh, there is a bit of a pattern here. There's a couple oddball random things that pop up here and there. But for the most part, there's a set pattern. You know, the ghosts come out in a set pattern. You know, you have to scout really ahead of time what to expect. And I died there. Okay, that was my fault. Sound effects are kind of shit, though. Uh, yeah. Background music is not that fantastic, actually. I mean, it really, you know, if there was a group of people that actually put a little more effort into these these games... And God tells me, and, and don't fucking tell me that you can't put effort into video games and fit them onto a f cartridge that's supposed to advertise 52 games because I've seen it done before. Pirates could do it. Uh, an official company could obviously do better. But anyways, 
Uh, there's not much to ooze, you just jump these pits, you shoot these things, you shoot ghosts, and, um... I'm sure somewhere down the line there's gonna be a lot more elaborate stage designs, but... Knowing Active Enterprises so far, I'm going to say no. And remember, I'm not really concerned about trying to get as far as much as... <laughs> Fuck me. Excuse me, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm not concerned with trying to get as far as possible, I just want to play enough of the game, so I could say that I played it, and never have to touch on it again. Uh, without having been said, however, this is one of a couple games so far that uh, I wouldn't mind going back to. And really, this is why I sort of wish that some you know, a group could get together and remake every single game. And I mean remake in a way that, you know, they're, they're playable and they have like a purpose and uh, they could be fun to play. Because right now, uh, Action 52, I'm not really having a whole lot of fun, but uh, this is a step above the rest. Unfortunately, it's over. we got to move on to something else, such as... Chill out. Chill out. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the one with Eskimos shooting snowmen at other Eskimos, and um... And uh, yes, you have that weird jumping mechanic, and you have that weird death there. You know, I could sort of... Uh, <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I could sort of understand. If you fell off a high platform and you hit the ground and die, but you don't even, they don't, they don't even give you that luxury. They give you, you die in midair. Like, that's what I don't get. And, uh, music here is, okay, how oh, fuck, okay, there we go. It, it, it's, it's what I say about, you know, the placement of these enemies being completely random. Completely random. Okay, so how am I going to do that now? Level 2. Okay, that's... Okay, that was easy. Like, this here's... here's you know, you, you, you give enough credit to these guys that they could put up together different levels. At least. I'm going to go here. Do, 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 God damn it. <laughs> These tunes have a hypnotic effect, yet they're the worst tunes ever composed in a video game. Or ever. Oh, god damn it. There's not much else to say with you here. That's that's the thing, there's no substance in any of these games. And I could go on, I could go to the other side of the screen. Brilliant. And I died. Brilliant. So, uh, yeah, I could go, I could, you know, wrap around to the other side, I could go to one side of the screen, appear on the other. Oh, much like Mario Brothers or Joust or all of those single screen games. So it defeats the purpose of having to do any semblance of platforming, because, you know, if I gotta get to the other side, I just go, I just walk to the other, I just walked to the edge of the screen, I'll appear to the other side. Which is brilliant. And... The only real semblance of challenge on this level is the uh, and I died midair. Nice, brilliant. Uh, next, sharks. Basically, you're in the water and have to shoot some sharks, and you have the greatest laser beams that a scuba diver could ever have. And you have no reason to ever have to use them because the sharks only come out sporadically. And really sporadically because... Um... Yeah... You know... This scuba diving seg get video... Uh, this, this scuba diving segment reminds me of a particular NES game that I've looked upon in the past. I can't quite put my jaw on it. Uh, I remember it being a lot more exciting than this, but I don't know, I really can't put my finger on my jaws. Oh. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Josh. 
For those of you who have never seen or heard of Jaws for the NES, you ride a boat. And you ride a boat. You hit something. You dive into the ocean. And you shoot your little harpoon things at various jellyfishes. And presumably later on... Um, at least this game has a little more variety, unlike, well, this thing. Seriously, this is all you do. You know, a couple sharks will show up on screen, but you're mostly just wadding around. You don't even have to, you don't even have to touch a, a shark, actually. You just sit there at a certain point, only moving incrementally to just, just to get out of a certain shark's way, and you'll move on to the next level. But I think a lot of these, th I think a lot of these levels are just timed. You know, you don't really have to do anything. I don't recall if there's a boss for this level. I kind of doubt it. If all the other games are any indication. <sighs> you know what the sad part is? There's a bunch of Hong Kong produced Famicom multi cart things, and NES multi cart things. Where all some of these guys do is just, just take pre-existing games, re they remove the copyright, and they stick them onto an NES cartridge. And sometimes they vary between 100, 250. Some will claim out outlandish numbers such as 801. When really it's just like the same 20, 40 games repeated over and over again. The differences between those multi-carts and Action 52 is that those games are fun to play, the games here are not. And I'm not coming to head to the game over because there's not much else to see. It's the same shit, and I'm starting to get a better appreciation for Jaws, which has a little more variety than this thing. Congratulations, Action 52. You managed to outsuck an LJN branded video game. Some would say it's a pretty difficult, near impossible feat to achieve, but there you go, moving right along. Next up we have Megalonia, which is going to be another shooter. What'd I tell you? Another side-scrolling horizontal space shooter where a bunch of random crap is thrown at you. Your ship only shoots one bullet on screen at a time. Um, who arches? That's the bullet. Let's. Uh, how's that for variety? God damn it. <laughs> Um... Hey, look, there's a boss. And I died. Oh, that was my fault. Um... Oi. This music's getting to my ears. I'm starting to feel great pain. Uh, let's crash into something, I guess. That's what? That's it. Uh, at least it's a different level design, and I died. Okay, fair enough. Uh. I got nothing. Sorry, folks. <laughs> I've got nothing. This is, uh... God damn, this is boring. Very, 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 very goddamn boring. I have no clue how Armic sat through all of these things. But, um... Ooh. Yep. Now avoid the bullets. Avoid the bullets and, and, and try to kill this thing. Try to kill this thing is half the battle. The other half is 
trying to stay awake and giving a two, two shits about trying to play this with any semblance of skill or care. Uh, quite difficult at the moment. Let's admire the glitchy graphics about how the flames of that birthday cake is appearing on screen when the boss is on the very edge of the right side of the screen. Um, um, sure, like, sure, this, this boss sure seems tougher than the other one. The other one I had to only had to show up two inches and in and went on to the next level. And, um, Oh, fuck it. Just can kill me. I'm done. Game over. Thank fuck for that next game. Alright, next up we have the French Baker. You play as a French Baker who dies. I guess he surrendered. <laughs> I can't even make the cliche jokes funny with this thing. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm... I'm a French baker who's armed with syringes, apparently, and I died. Um, I don't know what a donut has to do with being, unless it's supposed to be a bagel. Uh, honestly, don't know what's going on here. I'm shooting at various inanimate objects that seem to be alive for some reason. Um... Seriously, those 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 things that he's shooting looks like looks more like syringes than um, looks more like syringes than any semblance of uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be a knife or a pie or whatever the case may be, but uh, also this has got this game out of all the oh, we cleared the stages out of all the Action Fifty Two games so far that I, we've seen so far this looks like the shittiest one. And I apologize for some choice words that I use in, in, in this thing, but, uh... <clears throat> God damn, a three-year-old drew these, didn't he? We're done. Next. Alright, Atmos Quest. Atmos Quake, excuse me, I can't read. Oh, joy. It's another bland as shit space shooter um, I'm not gonna put a whole lot of effort into this cuz what's the point? <laughs> all these things play the same way anyway <laughs> I mean the B button doesn't do anything you're shooting everything with the A button what I'm thinking is a lot, a lot of these games are actually meant for the I died even though I was, you know, there was a couple inches of air there, but fuck it, who cares. Next game. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to just notice something. This is all I'm doing right now. One hand, this is all I'm doing. Is smashing that B button. Well, in this case, it's a Y button because I'm playing it on the Super Game Boy. But kids, if you want to make a wrestling game or a fighting game, this is not how you go about it. You know, I have the good sense to switch to a fucking. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Now that's a game that could easily fit in with Action 52. It's only a one button affair, and it's not that great of a game. But I digress. Oh, Sean's gonna do something different. Okay, so you had to move around, I guess. And here's the modern day miracle we actually made it the pitch to. <laughs> uh, this game I don't get. To be, in all honesty, I, I don't. <coughs> excuse me. I don't get this game because um, I guess you're supposed to make your way to the top. Various platforms will, will, will form holes, I guess. And um, 
Is there a point to this game? Is there any special objectives or am I, what am I supposed to do here aside from navigating all of these things? Does anybody have a copy of the game that comes with instructions? Maybe they could shed some light on this. Is there a site I could go to? Um, I don't care. Next game. All right, moving right along, we have Space Dreams and... We have Teddy Bears, you're playing a pacifier. The, um, we have Stars. We have Raggedy Dolls. We have uh, Safety Pins. I just saw a Safety Pin there. Yep, safety pins, and they, they shoot. These safety pins aren't aren't slackers. They they will shoot back at you, and 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 and, and then something just killed me. Um, there's some purple stars. I don't know if you caught that. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I've got nothing to say. <laughs> Again, I have to I have to ask who programmed this crap and why are they allowed to live? Uh, why are they allowed? Did these are these the same guys that that came up with those pop station things that Ashen likes to to, to touch on every so often? Seriously, I got nothing. I got so much nothing that I skipped out on having to shoot anything until now. Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> Why am I flying as a pacifier? Where the fuck am I? <laughs> and the game's over. All right, next up we have streamers and the whole idea behind this game is you shoot your streamer to move on to uh, uh, the top of the platform and avoid anything that moves including and I'm going to do a little bit of uh, you know jump ahead to a little bit of res retrospective commentary a lot of the I, a lot of the things I'm doing here I didn't know it at the time I'm, I was recording the footage, but you're not supposed to be getting anything that includes the money bags, and that's why it killed me. You know, I remember watching Armake doing a run of this game, and you're not supposed to touch anything, not even the money bags, because they everything hurts you, except for the uh, the bunnies and the top hats. They don't do anything for some reason. I don't know why. You know, if I, ever, I think. I'll tell you one thing though, out of all the games I've played in this thing so far, this seems like the most inventive at least. Um, you know, the level design is your typical garbage where it's, uh, you know, this one's a little tricky, but uh, we're going to manage this one. There we go. Of course, there's, there's things like that where you're forced to take a hit at certain points. You know, I hate it when games do that, even official titles, mind you. I think that that, that would have been the end of the level, actually. But see, out of all the Action 52 games that uh, we've seen, there's only a couple of them I wouldn't mind revisiting. This is one of them. Uh, streamers has a nice little concept at least. Uh, even if I'm playing completely crap at it at the moment, and I have no other reason to go back to Action 52 at any point in the future, uh, the concept's not a bad idea, in all honesty. Like, as far as I'm concerned, it's not a bad idea, the concept of it. 
Uh, I'm sucking at the moment, that much is certain, but I wouldn't mind revisiting this one in the future just to, just to give this game a shot because it's actually quite fun when you know what you're supposed to do and what you're supposed to do is not bump into anything. Also note this is one of the few games where you can fall down and you won't fall on your ass. Well, that's the exception, but <laughs> Streamers is one of the rare good games. Moving right along to Spreadfire, or as I've heard it be referred to, and for good reason, Space Lobster. And, uh, why can't I kill this thing? Um, oh, that almost, that almost hurt, actually. Uh, you see that bluish thing, though, that's on top? I can't seem to kill it, I don't know why. And I died. Brilliant. Space Lobster. Space Lobster. When something interesting happens, let me know. I'm gonna doze off here a bit. Wish I did. <laughs> oh good, level 2. More of the same shit. <laughs> Deary me to think this thing costs 200 bucks to purchase. I don't remember if this was ma this was something you had to, to, to order over the mail or if this was in retail because I never remembered seeing this in stores and probably for good reason. It's another one of those games where random crap shows up on screen, you shoot it. And um, the one thing I'll notice is that the only time you ever need to use the B button is during the platformers. I think the rest of these games, they really actually intended this to be on the Atari. Uh, the 2600, let's say. Ooh, level 3. <laughs> the same shit all over again. Yeah, I think a lot of these games they intended to put on the Atari. But then they realized that Nintendo was capable of far more than blocky graphics, so they came up with this shit. And, you know, I'm just having fun with the turbo function. Such as it is, because I gotta find some way to amuse myself with this fucking thing. <laughs> Space Lobster! Space Lobster! <laughs> Uh, I've got nothing. <laughs> I'm dead. All right, next. All right, what else do we have here? Um, uh, twenty-three bubblegum Rosie. Bubblegum Rosie. There's Rossi, or anyways, it's another platformer. Uh, it's got that weird uh platforming mechanics where you have to press B and then. Push the D-pad to uh, move in midair, and uh, I have a weapon that cannot kill enemies. What gives? I could go through that platform. Okay, I can't jump over that. The jumping sucks. You. Ooh, what? Fuck it, I'll take it. And uh, I guess I could jump on enemies. See, some enemies can be killed with your, your, your weapons, other enemies cannot. So how do I go... I can't stand the platformers. Oh, I took a hit. I've lost the will to live. What? <laughs> the fuck is going on? <laughs> the fuck is going on here? Oh, now I died. The fuck is going on here? Okay, Micro Mike, there we go. And what the f what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Man, this game doesn't fuck around, does it? <laughs> you better keep up, or you're gonna get your ass kicked. 
Not even two seconds and I'm crushed by the fucking squ Oh god. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh, dearie me. I, I, I've got nothing. Oh, well, actually, oh, never mind. That went by rather quickly. Uh, yeah, anyways, next up we have underground and we're underground that much is accurate so we're playing what looked like a dark-skinned gentleman roaming around these well this guy is already better than every other platforming character in this compilation because he could drop down and touch a bunch of mushrooms and die oh those are supposed to be spikes oh okay okay so those are those are bad, that's why I have to go around. Okay, I get it. Um... Actually, wait, no, I don't get it. Why the fuck am I playing? <laughs> oh, that's gonna be the tricky part, isn't it? That one segment where everything is randomly placed? Just like that's randomly placed? And you're just trying to try and climb these and let's see if you can... Im the impeccable timing of action 52. Ooh, managed that. That's brilliant. And we managed that. Also brilliant. And managed to die. Brilliance all around. Alright, rocket jockey. It's, um, yeah. It's a cowboy with a, a rather nicely animated lasso. Okay, my standards are pretty low at this point, but. <laughs> It's a, it's another shooter. Um, I don't know what the background's supposed to be. Uh, it looks like shit. I'm not trying to be punny or funny or anything of the sort. It, it looks dreadful. Uh, really, that's about as insightful as, as I could get with this commentary at this point, considering it's always the same thing with these damn shooters. It's much like the modern-day first-person shooter. Pick any one of them, it's the same shit, different game. Next up. Oh, God. How many more pages of this? Okay, so it's just three pages. Oh, dear. Okay, so we're gonna go on with non-human. No. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I'm sorry, <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try this again and, 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 uh. You yeah, the same shitty control setup. You could fall through the blocks. Uh. This looks like a piece of shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, why not? Let's try it one more time. You gotta love the musical talents on display here. And, you know, at least I got killed by the enemy. I didn't fall through the block. Alright, enough. Alright, I'm gonna tell you something right now. Um. Um. Fuck is the what the fuck is he shooting? And of course you got that 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 fucking What's that white shit he's shooting? Is that supposed to be like a milk <laughs> I'm guessing he has like a milk bottle or something, he's shooting from that. But God damn And it's the same shit with all these single screen plat you know side view games. You roam around platforms, you you shoot this jizz and 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 I I'm sorry, but what else what the fuck else do you want me to call this? Oh. <laughs> 
you know, fall off two inches. Oh, you know. It's 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 bad enough that the games are as simplistic and poorly designed as they are. But on top of all that, none of these games give you a reason to care. And 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 whatever. Next. Okay, next up on the list we have Slasher and uh, Okay, it's a uh, All right, punch, kick and mostly punching, kicking. Okay, it's a pretty Okay, so this is sort of like a, a side scrolling beat 'em up that's kind of shit. You smash buttons and you fight the guy and and um you got big breasted women and uh, I'm almost falling asleep here but you got you got these generic characters and uh, you know, you're sort of fighting them off I'm losing health I, I guess I almost forgot the uh, health meter in the bottom left of the screen because it's sort of masked within the uh, the brick uh, side of the building, the bricks. Well, I don't seem to be doing too badly so far. I well, spoke too soon. <laughs> uh, yes, we're on the rooftop. Um, I kind of noticed one thing is that they always go right at you. I'm gonna have to try to try to, to get around them. Wait, the, the, the I went through her, and she wants she goes away. Really? And I wait. So if I try to evade them. Oh my god, you could you, you you could actually skip all of this. You don't even have to fight them. You just go you, you just take a certain distance, you go around them. And you, you completely evade them. That's 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 actually pathetic when you really think about it because the whole idea of a beat 'em up is to to go around beat the crap out of enemies you know and that's how you progress here's a game that you know you could find a way to circumvent all that and you could keep going forward oh my god I took a couple cheap hits because I'm an idiot uh, let's see if we get around okay managed to evade that so it's less about trying to 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 get points and trying to survive. It's it's less about trying to beat people up for points and more about, you know, how much you could evade them. I'm almost curious to see how far we could go here. Uh, this is wow. This is exciting. Exciting, exciting shit. Oh, we reached the end of the level. Subway. And this slightly different music now. Yep, do the same shit here. Guy walks by, you go around him, and uh... Oh, mother f Bandana? Huh? Yes? Sorry. Listen, I just heard from a friend that you are yanking my, you are pranking me and yanking my chain. Please say it isn't so. Oh come on! You didn't find me a bit interesting. Did you care a bit about me? Didn't our mini date mean anything to you? No. CWC, please pardon me for a moment. No. Oh shut the fuck up. 
Jesus Christ. Yeah, sorry about that. The phone rang. Told him I was busy. Busy playing a beat em up where you're, you, you you don't even have to beat up anybody. You just go the fuck around them and somehow I took a hit. Jesus Christ. I should probably get myself killed just to end the misery, but you know what? I'm kind of curious to see if there's anything beyond this plan. plan. Hey, I didn't expect level 2 to be a subway underground parking lot or, 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 or something. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a boss or something, but I could just go around him, so... Whatever. You know, the, the enemies could even go through the fucking scenery. Absolutely brilliant. So, let's see. What do we have here? Level 3. Fucking... It's, 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 it's the same stage all over again. And I'm pulling off the same bullshit here too. I just go, go, go walk around the... No, fuck. Just walk around the fucking, you know, enemies and stuff. Thing is, the rooftop level is actually a little tougher. Because you ha you're, you're a little more constrained. But still, it's... The same shit, I'm taking hits. Uh, fuck, I got one life left. Oh, God. <laughs> I was hoping this was going to be over, but, jeez. Oh. Uh, I mean, really, there's not much to say here, is there? Oh, I took a hit. There's really not much to say at this point. You just... Yeah, why not? You know, the fucking... Fighting moves of the fucking... Death. Or something, I don't know. Hey, let's have some fun. Let's make a review out of this. The gameplay is kind of crap. You, you just go around the enemies. You don't even have to kill them. Um, your fighting moves are, are are kind of, you know, stupid looking. The graphics are kind of shit. You know, I, I've seen Atari VCS games pull off better game graphics out of their ass and... and, and, and <laughs> God damn it, I can't even do... I can't fucking do... I can't do... <laughs> Jesus... This is this is this game's miserable. This is just just miserable. I can't even make fun of. I can't even joke around with it, cause it's so. It's bland as horse piss. Yeah, I'm, I'm going around. What you know, slasher, big tough guy. He, he can't even. He's not even. He doesn't have to even have to fucking fight him head on. Just go around him. You're, you're, yeah, you're you're a real tough guy there. Absolute sh absolute shame. <laughs> Seriously. Level four. Back to the subway. Cause fuck me, why not? Oh, looks like we're uptown. So I guess the uh, the other stage was downtown. Oh, I would probably wasn't paying attention. How could I? It's all the same shit anyways, isn't it? Not the bright side, though, the, the game's nice enough to, you know, restore your life at the end of, you know, every level. I don't know how that's a good thing, though, but, uh, I'll take what I can get. Holy Jesus. This shit's endless. I mean, it's really endless. I've got nothing. I'm just gonna go out and say it. I've got fucking nothing at this point. Yeah, let's just go around. Go, go <laughs> around. The you yeah, it just goes back to what I said, you know, those Hong Kong original consoles, those Dream Gear things that the people, that they charge for like 40, 50 bucks, more or less. Has a whole bunch of games you've never heard of before. They're not, they're pretty generic games. They're better than this. And they cost a, a fraction of what this cartridge used to cost. 
exit. Are we close to the end of the level? I, I bet you it's the end of the, end of the level. It's going to be another fucking rooftop level. I, I bet you anything. It's another rooftop. Boom! What'd I tell you? Absolute horse manure. <laughs> Just fucking kill me. I don't care anymore. Thank fuck for that. Next! I think that's the longest amount of time I spent on a fucking game like this. Okay, next up, Crazy Shuffle. Let's uh, get started with this thing. Um, so what am I supposed to do here? Yeah, it's another shooter. Big surprise. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? This is what happens. This is what happens when you buy, when when you make games and you don't establish any clear objectives or, or goals or anything of the sort. You have no idea what you're supposed to do. You go around shooting shit. And, 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 oh. You know, the difference between those illegal... I, I, I understand, like, the story to Vince, the, the, the guy who, who conceptualized Action 52 saw a family relative play an illegal multi-cart. And he figured, why don't I do one? That's, that is legal. Of course, the thing is, the irony of that statement is that Action 52 is an unlicensed game cartridge. And, but, and perhaps more, more telling than that, the difference between the illegal NES multi-carts from Hong Kong or whatever and Action 52 is that the multi-carts from Hong Kong, the, the, the pirated ones, the one that has like 110 games, those are from actual games, copyrighted games, like Mario and, and, and Clue Clue Land and Sky Destroyer and, and Little City. You had actual games there. And even if you've never played any of those games before, your goals are, for the most part, are pretty straightforward. Next up, we have Fuzz Power. Please be interesting. Um... You know what the sad thing is? I immediately recognized the background music in this game. It's the same background music that was used on the title screen of Cheetah Men 2. And I have no fucking clue. I don't know what happened to all his guy's hair. What the fuck is going on here? It, you know, it's like I said, multi multi carts here. You roll around and 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 what the fuck? What the fuck am I doing? Okay, now I'm dead. Um. Jesus Christ. Every uh, game over. You know what? Well, I guess I'll try it again and um, figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. I have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. No clue what I'm supposed to be doing. My attack, you know, it's the same same shit controls. B jumps, A does this fucking whatever the fuck it is. You know, uh, excuse my French, but uh, fuck me, I don't know what the, what am I doing? What the fuck? And uh, you know what? Fuck this. I'm done. Next. Next up, we have shooting gallery. Oh gee, I wonder what this is gonna be. Flashing screen of death. And of course it's a shooter. Pretty uninspired looking, pretty crap looking shooter. And um... Hello? Is something going to come on screen? It's fucking Jupiter scope all over again. Long periods of fuck all. Ooh, something appeared. <laughs> Oh, now we're getting somewhere at least. We're getting somewhere at least. Crikey. Jesus Christ. 
how many shooters have we had so far and how many of them have been actually remotely interesting? Too many shooters, none of them interesting. Big surprise. And it's not even just, you know, it, it's not even non-interesting for the sake of the fact that it's all the same thing. Because now I got to look back at those Dream Gear things where they have like a whole bunch of shooters that's pretty much the same basic gameplay. But even those games were somewhat interesting and tolerable. They're, they're the good kind of generic. They're the kind of generic that doesn't really stand out, but they're playable, they're remotely... They're somewhat interesting at some level that you can't help but keep going. These things, shooting gallery. The fuck am I doing? Hello? Is there anybody there? Ah, oh, fuck this. We're moving on to the uh, fuck. Uh, pink, too late for that. Fuck this. We're moving on to something else. Fuck that. Jesus Christ. At some point, you have to wonder. Actually, no, you don't have to wonder a damn fucking thing. Lollipop. Your hero here is armed with a giant lollipop that he could use to destroy things. Um, and he can die falling from great distances. What kind of a fucking hero are you? You got a fucking lollipop for a weapon, man. The, the, the only thing you need now is being recolored in pink tights. Uh, okay, let's not get that far. <laughs> Okay, so apparently you could climb up those platforms, but there's really no reason to. And I died again. And I died again. Perverse curiosity ha has me compelled to continue onwards. Even though there is no reason for me to continue onwards. Oh, by the way, it's the same crap controls. You know, beat a jump and... You have to jump first before you could move in midair. Fantastic controls, and I just farted. Excuse me. Um, not that it really matters, cause the stench of this. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus. This is sad. Oh, I'm sorry. This is this is this the, 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 the sad state of affairs. I still got a shit bunch of games left to go. Oh god! I hope this, I I don't drag this long like I did that slashers. Slashers. I had to I actually. You know. I think I took a good ten minutes on that fucking thing. Uh, shit. So I'm just going through here. There's not much to say about these games whatsoever. Yeah, I figure if I, if I were to take the upper path, I'd probably have to make a drop to the ground and I'd die. Because the, the, the rules of platforming with these uh, fucking Action 52 games are kind of shit. Okay, so how the fuck am I gonna... How the fuck am I... So, I gotta climb up the fucking stairs and, and you know, and risk getting hit by an enemy. And there's a good possibility that if I try to make the jump from point A to point B, I might die anyways. Because if you... Well, what the fuck does it matter? I'm just gonna kill myself. Fuck this. Next. I don't care. Next. Next up, we have the Evil Empire. I can't see shit. <laughs> and I died. Uh, I died. Uh. 
By the way, it's the same shit. Hey, look, I could climb on the invisible middle ladders that you don't see. And I could shoot from the ladders. And, um... Okay. I don't know what that did, but, uh... Anyways. That's what I don't get with these games. They don't... Um... I got nothing. And, of course, you, do, you die in the middle. I'm guessing, like, I... Yeah, it's... Because sometimes you could, you know, depending on your distance, you could actually... Uh, who cares? Anyways, next game. Sombreros! It's another shooter. I got ran over. Fair enough. Um... Yeah, it's another one of those scrolling shooters where you, you, you move upwards. There's a bunch of like, like, like simplistic looking houses. And there's garbage on the top and bottom of the screens as you scroll. My favorite kind of scrolling, actually. Yeah, it's, 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 it's another crap fucking shooter thing. And this music is mind-numbingly awful. Absolutely putrid. Absolutely putrid. You know what? I need that coffee to stay awake. <laughs> going, just getting going through this thing. Though I probably should have waited till the level breaks to actually sip it, just to maintain the illusion that I'm actually playing this thing when I'm. But then again, just watching this, just watching this is. Oh god damn it, the fucking music, Jesus Christ. Fuck, just get the shit out of me. Fuck. So you move on to the next level, and uh. <laughs> there's no houses, there's no roads, there's a bit of variety. Uh, it's a bit of an illusion by the game, however, that's gonna come by much much later. So we're gonna we're gonna find out. So even though there's a new level layout, it's still the shit, same shit gameplay. And, uh, again, you see, here's, how do I put this delicately? Actually, there's a very easy answer. You don't, do you? The thing is such a, it's, here's, oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know this thing used to cost 200 bucks it costs significantly a hell of a lot more these days which means the only reason you want to get your hands on action 52 is for the collector's value and that's it you don't want to actually play the fucking thing because that would then kill the uh, collector's value Obviously. Um, level 3. We got the houses again. But we don't have the road. And uh, presumably I, I don't have the head... I'm just going to slip the headphones on just to make sure. Just I just want to... Uh, yes, you're still listening to the same fucking music all over. But there's water now, so that's just fine and dandy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Does it? Anything happens. Oh wait, there's a bridge. I guess it's a bridge. It just looks like they just slapped the fucking street graphics on there and didn't bother to put any bricks on the side. Oh god, this game this 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 game's boring. This music it's hurting my ears. God damn it. Who thought this shit was a good idea? Fuck me. Oh my god. Shoot me now, fucking hell. Oh, one more life. We're, we're, we're almost in the home stretch. We're almost done. On top of that, this fucking shit has to slow down. <laughs> fucking hell, I can't. I'm out of this shit now. Oh, come on. Come on, you can do it, pal. You can do it. Die, 
die. Thank you. Freedom. Fucking freedom. God damn it. Oh, what, what else we got? Oh, Storm. Oh, fuck me. Storm. <laughs> Storm. Oh, oh, God. That has to be like the crummiest. That's not that bad of a, a, a of a title screen, though. You got these, but the, the game itself. Oh, we're gonna have fun with this fucking thing, aren't we? Oh dear. For some reason, the uh, Saddam Hussein uh, zombie things are. I didn't know where the, the, the Iraq had the fucking uh, pink tanks. Oh wait, it's supposed to be so supposed to be uh, uh they did a, the, the Iron Sheik land. Wait, 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 Iron Sheik's from Iran. Who, 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 who cares? What the fuck am I concerned about this kind of thing in a shitty game like this? What the fuck? Hey, you know, I complained about the, the, the shitty move, the, the shitty music in, in the last game. This 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 thing's no better, fuck. Hey, you folks remember combat on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred? Yo, know, you got the you got to play as a tank, and your friend got to play as a tank, and you got to shoot each other and all that that stuff. Combat, this shit ain't. <laughs> Well, I think I got some stands. I don't know what the what the f what the hell, Jesus! My ears hurt. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh, I got a headache. Yeah, no, this thing's giving me a headache for real. For real. This thing is get, giving me a headache like, oh, god damn it. Oh, Jesus. Make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. Oh, Jesus Christ. And why the fuck is DK only moving when I fucking climb the ladders? And why is Pauline's hair yellow? She's not fucking Princess Peach. Make her goddamn hair, hair brown. So after a moment of getting over the bad acting, if you want to call it that, I've decided to spare you the rest of Storm Over the Desert, which is pretty much the same shit until I decided to reset the damn game. But on the bright side, we're on the last page of Action 52. Let's get into Mash Man for the... Um... So what do I do? I, I take a hit, I, I guess. And, um... Do I jump on these things, or... Or I die? Fair enough. This is... This is... This is getting hurting. This is hurting my... Uh, same shit controls. You know, same shit. I have no idea what I'm doing. And unfortunately, I'm beyond the point of caring, which is a never a good thing when it comes to something like this. But um, yeah, I got nothing, so I'm gonna kill myself here, and we're gonna move on to the next game. All right next up, we have they came and um, flashy lights, and uh, yeah, well. Beats actually kind of semi decent by the standards of this thing. Beyond that, however, uh, well, apparently you have some power ups that don't do anything. Uh, there's no purpose to this game. And um, I don't know, what am I doing? Um, yeah, hello? Let me uh, think the game's crushed again. Ah, oh, fuck it. What do we have next? Laser League. Another shooter. what I tell you?
You know, I keep sounding like a broken record at this point, but how many shooters could they have put in without making the, the general premise seem monotonous? I would have settled. I wouldn't like. I wouldn't mind this many shooters if they they had a reason for me to care about playing those shooters. You know, if they had any, any anything to distinguish them apart from the skinned, reskinned graphics that, and you notice that 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 constant humming that's the game itself. Apparently, this thing has no music. Which, on the one hand, is kind of an improvement considering the, uh, what the fuck is that? Is, is that supposed to be the, my, it's the same pattern as the, the, the one from that other game. You know, the, 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 the random boss enemy that moves, moves towards you and, 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 and. Like, even the bosses fight the same way. At least a few games that have bosses. Flicker at la masse. Now we got level 2, it's the same shit. And, um, and I died. I meant to do that. Subconsciously, at least. <laughs> and you, you saw that... You, we gotta get it back... Oh, no, no, we're not gonna get it back. No, one of my shots went through one of the enemies. You know, collision detection is no secret at this point. Collision detection is kind of shit. Kind of hit and miss. And, um... Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. So excited that I decided to kill myself once more. Because I couldn't take the excitement that this game brought about to our, uh... Um, 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 um... Dear me. Are we having fun yet, boys and girls? No? Well, fuck you. Because <laughs> if I'm going to be miserable playing this, you're going to be miserable watching this. And I'm not going to go into any details of... Uh, how I'm forced to play this? No, I decided to, to, to play this and uh, so far, you know, it's every bit as I imagined it. I imagined it was going to be a miserable experience and it's been that. But I could take solace in the fact that I didn't pay 200 to whatever it costs right now to play the fucking thing. Now we got Billy Bob. Billy Bob, this looks like an interesting game. If I could figure out the controls. And I died. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Um, there's, a, there's a pattern. I'm trying to figure out the, 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 the controls are kind of finicky here. But it's like I said, though, uh, uh, you know, a couple of games like streamers and, and Billy Bob even seems like an interesting game. If I could get out of this fucking pit. Oh, wait, there we go. You can grab on the ledges. Hey, fuck. Look at that. Sorry, a step up over the. Oh, fuck me. I want to give this game another shot though, because it looks interesting, and I got killed right off the bat. But it looks like an interesting game, and, 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 and yeah, it's what I hate. So you, 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 it's easy to get stuck with these controls at times. And, and how did I fucking not get hit there? That's a fucking work of God right off the bat, and I die in midair. Brilliant. Next, City of Doom. City of Doom. This game is vaguely, vaguely familiar. It reminds me of a particular Atari 2600 video game that uh, I am somewhat remotely familiar with. And yeah, it's Spider-Man, fuck. The only difference is instead of shooting web lines and trying to reach the super bomb, I don't know what you're doing actually. You could climb up and down and you could shoot upwards, and you have to, you still have to avoid things, but, uh... Um... But at the root of its, you know, the root of its gameplay, it's another generic shooter. 
Well, you know, calling it these generic shooter, well, generic by the standards of this thing. Even a generic shooter has its qualities and its fun factor. Oh, we're going to space. This is the long, the tallest building in the world, apparently, as far as 1990 goes. Uh, I died touching the windows. That's that's brilliant. Bits and pieces. And um, it's another, 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 another. What am I doing? I'm running into things, and I'm dead. Okay, fair enough. Uh, how do I attack? Can I attack? How do I attack? Apparently I don't have any attacks here. I can jump, but I can't attack. If I could give one compliment to this game though, and because you know, there's few compliments I could give any Action 52 game, I like the background, how it's all monotone. I, I only wish that they did the same thing with the sprites. Have it like a completely black and white game, it would have made like a nice little effect. But that would have been beyond the monkeys at uh, Active Enterprises, I guess. Alright, moving on to the next game. Beeps and bleeps. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> it's... it's... Uh, oh god, da Jesus Christ, man. And it's the same as that, uh, it's the same background tune as that fucking They Came, isn't it? Or, or whatever that fucking game is. The one that fucking glitched out. In fact, it's the fucking same game, isn't it? It's just, you know, this one works somewhat. And we're controlling like a, like a diamond-shaped pink thing, or, or, or I guess it's pink. It's hard to tell. It's reddish. Whatever. One up. I got a one up. Hey, they got one ups, and I got a little dot on my. Uh... Oh, that's kind of interesting, though. If you pick up a one up, you actually have like a little dot. I don't know if that does any anything to improve the. Uh... Hmm. Anyways, you just move around. You you shoot these things that that show up. There's really not much to it, but hey, this is a step up over everything else. There's power ups. Your 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 player sprite changes when you pick up a one up. Which, uh, yeah, I didn't think it was possible after everything you've seen so far. I got a one up. How am I gonna? How am I gonna? Oh, you could go over those things. No collision detection. You can actually go through those things and not get killed, or not get blocked off. Um. So what's the point of the different background graphics if you could just go over them? And, um, I, I took a hit, I lost a little ball. I took another hit, lost a little ball. Uh, now I could go through, now, um, I, I think it's pretty, pretty evident at this point I don't care anymore. It's a sad thing. You're not supposed to stop caring about the game. <laughs> um, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, I'm done. We've seen enough. Let's move on to the next game. All right. Next up, we have Manchester. Manchester. And you can punch. Same controls, but uh, you have a nice, pleasant tune that 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 plays whenever you jump. And that was a complete lie, by the way. This thing's annoying. Remember, R make saying, you know, this is one. <laughs> and I, this sound effect, I think, was used for in one of the other games, I think. I forgot which one it was, but. Uh, um, then again, I don't really care at this point. Let's just get this shit over with. Um, and I died. Oops. The fuck was that? You hear that weird audio cue at the beginning there, but no, uh, whatever. I don't. I I don't care. Let's just get it over with. Let's see if we could get any farther. It's all the same shit. I'm sure that if I were to go to the next level, it's gonna be the same shit all over again. It, it doesn't matter. It, it keeps repeating itself over and over and, and fucking over. So now we got this 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 thing.
and uh, your jumps are floaty. Your character moves like a, a snail's pace. How am I gonna get past this part? I'm not. For plain and simple. Um, I might kill the bad guy. Um, oh, I made it through that part. That's what it'll get. Why so low? And I died. Game over. Pity. Next game. Boss my ass. Speaking of my ass, here's dead ants. And uh, yeah, yeah, we got it's a, 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 it's the same shit, different, same shit, different game. And I died. And that was done on purpose, by the way. That was done on purpose because I. It's the worst quality in a game where you stop caring about performing to any capacity. It is the worst kind of anything. It's depressing. And why the fuck do I care about these fucking ants? Seriously. Did any of these people give any of these fucking things any thought when they designed it? Even from a purely... Hombo's Adventures. Wow! 0.4 seconds! Of the five goes I had on Hombo's Adventures, two of them ended in less than a second. Pure class. And that's all that really needed to be said. Fuck Hombo's Adventure. Next fucking game. Time warp. <laughs> Time warp. Um. Play as a pair of fingers. Fingers animate surprisingly well when you do that that jumping animation thing, but I don't know what you're supposed to do. Got killed. Yeah, everybody's mentioned it. Whenever you die or whenever you kill something, time appears instead of a proper explosion. I don't know why I honestly don't care. The game is over. Let's move on to the next one. Next up we have Jigsaw. Jigsaw, you take it, does fuck all. Good enough for me. I honestly don't care. One less game. We're all we're on we're at the home stretch anyways. What the fuck do I care if one less game doesn't work? Next. Next up we have Ninja Assault. Ninja Assault is a uh well it's another one of those beat em up things. And you could jump. Huh. Gotta love those grunts. Huh. 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 And and he appeared on the other side, and I died. Um. Okay. Whatever. Done. Huh. 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 Yeah. Huh. 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 Oh, bird. I didn't realize I was playing Karateka again. Hey, speaking of which, I wonder... Yeah, it's the same shit. At least you could jump here. I got mauled by a dog. Beautiful. I'd say something profound at this point, but I honestly I've got nothing. You know, after, what, 50 games of this? 50, 50, 50. <laughs> well, technically it's not even 50 games. It's, it's, it's more fucking 48, because two of them don't work. And that's not taking into account the number of games that are, that are like, mostly copy and, you know, cut and paste and reskinned. And, oh, I killed the dog. Somebody call Peter, or or or, or, or something. <sighs> you know, I just sort of realized something. Uh, I I just realized something. If I were to cut this cut this thing up, the last game would be its own part. And I swear to God, that's not that wasn't intentional. That was that wasn't planned or anything. That I just realized it right now. You know, because I figure going into this, I'd figure at least six, seven parts. But now I see it's like seven parts of a whole bunch of games. 
and one part of this last game. And um, Ninja Assault, there's really not much to say at this point. It, it, it's and, and I, I, I died. I don't, you know, fine, whatever. Uh, now we got Robbie and the robots. No music. Good enough for me. You got a little stupid shooter game of sorts. And, uh, okay. Well, fine, whatever. By the way, you still have the same shit controls. Uh, but, uh... Hey, as long as there's no pits, I'm A-OK, -okay, I guess, right? Watch this, there's gonna be a pit coming up sooner or later. Or some inconveniently positioned turret that's gonna shoot shit at me. Level 2. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they had saved the pits for level 2. That, that that's That's stupid, though. So is that jumping sound. That's almost as bad. And how how how, how do you get past that? Do, do, oh, who cares? Really, at this point, who cares? Uh, I hate that jumping sound. I hate that jumping sound. Just keep shooting and and, and run into that and um, game over. And so, ladies and germs, the last game in the collection. The main event, if you will, the main the, the game that has been built that's been built up to the whole time. The game that a lot of people want, like to make a mockery of and, and and stuff. And it's time to look at game number fifty-two, the Cheetah Men. I'm so excited. You, you've probably already seen this game, but I'm going to be playing this for the first time. We're going to look at this horrible artwork here. The action game master was at home playing his video game when suddenly an arm reached out of the TV and pulled him inside. Wait, that never happened. When he looked up, he saw three gigantic yellow bodies. It was the Cheetah Men. He began to explain. The Cheetah Men told of the enemies here in Game World. Don't worry, we will fight for you. This is like Sonic all over again. <laughs> The Cheetah Men ran off, and now the Cheetah Men. During this game, you will have three Cheetah Men, a different one every second level, to fight for you. Hooray. Okay, I just want to get back to this one bit. Just want you to indulge me for a moment. Uh, when you looked up, you saw three gigantic yellow bodies. It was the Cheetah Men. You'll notice that Cheetah Men is missing an H, which is how you're supposed to properly spell Cheetah, hence Cheetah Men. And yet in the next screen, it's spelled just fine. Also, the, the the designers of Action Fifty Two have never heard of punctuation or or, or, or punctual, you, know, you know, quotation marks, commas, things of that nature. That whole thing is a single block. How do I know if they're talking? If you know, or something. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, enough waffle with the uh, the the terrible proofreading. Let's go on to the actual game. Lose Ares' wooden clubs and martial arts skills to defeat the enemies on the first two levels. Notice that Ares is missing a. Uh, but what's this called there? Uh, <laughs> an apostrophe. <laughs> Simple, basic punctuation marks that I've forgotten the names of because that's how bad this game's <laughs> destroyed my brain. Anyways, this is the first level. Um, you just, you just go. You go. You know. You just go this way. Um. There's no energy meter whatsoever to be found here, so the only way you could tell if you take a hit is if you... is just purely by the sound effects. And even that's not much of a helpful indicator because the... Um, yeah, well, the collision detection, as you can probably surmise, is not all that fantastic. So anyways, it's uh, another one of these really ridiculous, uh, you know, side-scrolling... Uh, I, I don't want to say beat them up because there's nothing worthwhile. Uh, yeah, if you, you know, if you like-minded, a lot of people have commented that, uh, uh, a lot of the, uh, enemies and, the gra and some of the graphics and the sprites, the enemy sprites are taken from other games. Because they're in Game World, and, 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 and the citizens of Game World have run amok or something, even though, um, I don't know. They, because we're just too lazy to come up with new enemies for the Cheetah Men to fight. 
So we're just gonna rip. We're just gonna connect these other enemies from uh, these other games that we've made so far. And uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, so far the game is not not fantastic. But uh, and I have and, and to tell you the truth, I only I only played like a couple levels. You know, level two. And uh, to anyone who's played this, ooh, where do I go? The game is broken. Uh, I don't. I hope they don't expect me. Ooh, I might. Oh, oh no! This, this, this level is broken. I ooh, where do I go? I might as well kill myself. Oh wait! <laughs> if you've never educated yourself before by watching any other Action Fifty Two game or any other Cheetah Man video prior to this, how would you know? You see, I just killed uh, Saddam Hussein. You know, from that, you know, desert. You know, there's a fireball from Fire Breathers recolored. And um, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. The controls, even though it's still B to jump and A to uh, A to attack. You know, the jumping is actually a little bit better. You know, you could jump over the gaps without having to just you know stop. Because in other games, I mean, you see, it's like you know, you could move you know towards the right and you can press b and you'll still make the jump in other games in other platformer games you know you had to press b first and then move in midair to cross chasms and um there's actual platforming the gameplay is actually kind of interesting so i don't know um mind you it's not that great of a game you know there's it's not that interesting to be to tell you the truth, and uh, I'm just sort of like, ooh, that's that's kind of a nice little trick there. You know, you just got this just stuck in the wall. Uh, I don't know. One of these games apparently have a secret level or something. I don't know. I could be missing it wrong. I honestly don't care. Please don't don't bring it up. I, I honestly, I really, really don't care. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's not really much to say. You know, if you beat this level. You get to play another Cheetah Man with his bare fists, and the uh, sprite is apparently so big it's impossible to dodge anything. And then you have another Cheetah Man a couple levels later, I guess, that, that has a crossbow. Of course, if you really wanted to, that Cheetah Man can be immediately accessible in Cheetah Man 2, if you want to hunt that game down for whatever reason. Um. Anyways, we're just doing some, uh, some nice little uh, platforming here. Do -do 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 -do, and you can... I like that when you do, when you attack you stall in midair, which is uh, you know great gameplay programming I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Just do the whipping and do this, do that. Be careful platforming. Obviously, if you fall here, you die. You know, that's because that makes perfect sense. I'm not being a snarky or sarcastic, and actually, it does make sense. If you fall into a pit, you die. Which is why I was somewhat hesitant <clears throat> to fall down a pit in that first screen, because... <laughs> in any case, I'm just sort of, you know, taking my time here. Like, I'll, 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 I'll give him this, though. Control is slightly better than before, and you have a boss fight, even though he just jumps around like an idiot. But the hit detection's kind of, uh, kind of wonky there. I don't know if I'm scoring any hits or if, uh, because I I think I only take another hit hit or two left, and I died. Yeah. Yeah, by the way, spoiler alert, that's the farthest I've uh, went in uh, Cheetah Man, and I haven't tried to play it again. Because the whole idea was, I just wanted to play it once, and never have to worry about it again. But Cheetah Man 2, I play, I, this is actually my p second playthrough of Cheetah Man 2. First time, uh, I just, you know, fiddled around with it, I went back, played it again. And that's all I really have to say about that. So the rest of the gameplay is just me, uh, you know, tiptoeing, you know, towards the end of the level and uh, failing at a couple points. And uh, 
quite honestly, there's not much else to see here. So if it's all the same to you, I'm going to end the video right here, right now. And I'm going to bed with a migraine because... <laughs> Wow, uh, so there's not much to say about Action 52. Now that I've played it, I never have to worry about playing it again. I actually never worried about playing it. Actually, I'm kind of glad that I actually fired up a ROM with this thing and, and played it, you know, even if just once, because it's one of those games that you play it once to experience and you never have to touch it again. Reviewing Action 52 is akin to reviewing tap water. There's generally no point since everybody knows the end result. Everybody knows how horrible Action 52 act happens to be, and therefore there's really no point in dwelling into it. The card itself is expensive, which means only collectors with plenty of disposable income and no semblance of common sense will want to actively seek out a copy for themselves. Even playing it on an emulator, which is what I'm doing to get this footage, there's no way in hell I'm getting the actual card because I like money in my pockets that is you know playing it on an emulator even feels dirty so while most know of action 52's lack of quality I will nonetheless express my overall collective thoughts on the cartridge and some of all all sum it all up in seven points and I'm gonna do this completely raw and you know with no real edits of, or anything of the sorts just because. Anyways, number one, there's no variety. The games of Action 52 mainly comprise poorly conceived space shooters and platformers and all of these play largely similar to each other with nothing to truly distinguish the bunch from uh, each other aside from different looking graphics. On top of that, most seem to operate under the same rules. In the case of platformers, it's going from point A to point B at which point the level just ends and you move on to the next. Same deal with the shooters, it just scrolls for a bit before ending abruptly or moves on this moves on to the next. In case in the case of some games which, you know, the screen doesn't scroll, you know, it, it switches to the next level automatically after a while. Some games have bosses, but oftentimes, you know, these games are broken. More on that later. Number two, there's no point. The idea behind the conception of Action 52 was that Vince Perry, the individual responsible for this drivel, was inspired by one of his kids playing one of those fangled multi-cart things and figured why not create something similar that's kinda sorta legal. Sounds like a good idea. I thought it was ingenious actually to make a you know custom cartridge of 52 original games. The problem was, was that what those illegal multi-carts have that Action 52 doesn't was quality video games that are structured, have a purpose, and perhaps most importantly are fun to play. Sure, those cards featured pre-existing Famicom games tossed in there with minor edits and removal of copyright information, but the thing is, those games had some substance, which is what any of the, which is what none of all the games in Action 52 lack. What's the point of playing these games? There is none. They're just there, and I think that's the problem. There's you know, there's no sense of accomplishment. There's nothing of the sort. Number three, controls are crap. If it's a space shooter, it only uses one button to fire, and that's about it. And there's issues with collision t c detection in some cases. If it's a platformer, then the buttons are mapped counter to what you're used to from an NES platforming game. S as such, B button jumps where an A button shoots. The classic control scheme of every worthless NES platformer. On top of that, jumping is detrimental in the sense that you cannot jump while holding a D-pad. If you want to jump across a chasm, you have to let go of the T-pad, be absolutely still, then press B to jump, and then move in mid-air. And if you fall too far a height, you die. This is especially evident, you know, this is even evident in platformers where there's, it's a side-scroller, which I thought, no. Number four, poor sound quality, mostly a mishmash of subpar chip tunes done by toddlers, along with some of the worst 8-bit sound effects ever concocted out of a sound processing unit on a Nintendo Entertainment System. Terrible. Number 5, poor graphical quality. The graphics in Action 52 are uninspired, drab, unimpressive, and mundanely poor. Seems as though designers thought up some rough designs for sprites, tossed them into the game without rhyme or reason or polish or anything of the sort, and called it a day. I be negligent, do not mention the garbage that occurs during a scrolling game on the side of the screen. Absolute waste. Number six, the better majority of the games are broken or incomplete. Case in point, the game Alfredo does not work. At all. 
Even on a ROM image, the game refuses to load. Other games seem to keep going without end, not in terms of, you know, infinite levels or anything. But one level will just keep playing forever without ever ending. A couple of games will glitch out after a while or freeze out right. And it seems like there's no semblance of quality control. It's like, again, everything is tossed in there. We have a game. That's not how it works. And that's how, you know, that's how it seems. None of these have structure. None of these, there's no reason to play these. It's just there. You know, people seem to think, the pe these people seem to think that you just toss in 52 random games in there without any polish, kids will go over it. That, obviously, that did not happen. Finally, number seven, out of all the games in Action 52, only one of them is arguably worth playing. The so-called Action Game Master game, or as most people know it as, The Cheetah Men. Control is somewhat better here, somewhat, you know, you could, you know, jump while holding the D-pad. And there's a bit more of a structure to the levels. There's a backstory, there's cutscenes and stuff like that. But otherwise, it's still pretty crap. If more effort was focused on making this game a good ra a good game rather than focusing on making 51 crap games, we would have had something. But there isn't any effort. So we don't have something. We have... Gaming history. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah, those are my seven points of Action 52. In a nutshell, it goes without saying that it's a pretty crap compilation that does everything wrong. There's no real point in ever tracking down an actual copy unless you happen to be a collector who just needs to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to own a piece of gaming history, which these days is apparently a euphemism for shit. Fun to watch other people suffer through it, not so much fun to play the damn thing yourself. As if you really need me to tell you, don't bother with this one. Watch a video instead, you'll get some more enjoyment out of that than actually playing it. The end.